Hey guys, ADHD here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build Eric Cartman's house from the TV show South Park. A lot of you guys have been requesting this ever since I started this cartoon series, and I decided to finally do it today. I want to give a huge shout out to my friend, Everything Awesome. He actually sent me a picture of his build on Twitter and told me how you know, it was free for me to use it and stuff, the design. And I ended up using his design and changing a few things like the windows and the actual color itself a little bit. I made it a little bit like a lighter green, used a lime green wool instead. Um, but huge shout out to him because the actual design, the structure itself is totally from him. So I really appreciate that. Um, but anyway, we're going to start on this right now. So for this build, you're going to need lime wool. You're going to need dark oak wood stairs, dark oak wood slabs, ice, or any glass. This is just for the windows. If you need to use glass instead of ice, you can do that. For me, I don't use glass because I think ice looks better and I don't put torches in there anyway. So it's fine for me. Um, any kind of leaves really. Uh, stone bricks and also stone brick stairs. And we're going to need some other minor stuff, but we'll get into that when we need it. So anyway, let's get started. All right, guys, so before we get started, if you guys can do me a huge favor and just scroll down really quickly and hit that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. It costs you absolutely nothing. It takes you just one second, and it really helps me out a lot. And if you're new here, definitely subscribe. I build loads of crazy cartoon houses and other stuff in Minecraft all the time. So getting started, we're going to start with the lime wool, and we're going to work to the right a total of 17 blocks. All right, and as always, guys, if at any point in the video you feel like I'm going too fast, you can always pause or rewind it at any point in order to catch up. All right, so one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So it'll have 17 blocks of lime wool, just like that. Okay, now let's do our next row. Our next row is going to be 7 blocks of the lime wool. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7. And then we're going to need to get out. Actually, I forgot about this block. We're going to need our dark oak planks. And we're going to do 3 dark oak planks. All right, so 1, 2, 3. Then we're going to do another three of the, uh, or another seven of the lime wool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, just like that. All right, so that's what you have right now. All right, so our next row, and our next row is going to be a total of seven of the lime wool again. The one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then three of the dark oak planks again. One, two, three. Then again with the lime wool all the way the rest of the way. Okay, so now this is where things change up a little bit, all right? So... The next row is going to be three lime wool, one, two, three, then three glass or ice, whatever you're using for the windows, one, two, three, then one lime, then three of the uh, dark oak planks, one, two, three, then one of the lime green, one, and then you're going to do three ice or windows, one, two, three, then do three lime wool to finish it off, one, two, three, and I'll back up so you take a look at that and pause if you need to, all right? Next row is going to be the exact same thing. So just literally replicate what you just did. So just look straight down and copy what you got there. I don't know why I put the lime wool so far. Oh, I forgot that you can just go like this around the other side. Anyway, I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I was thinking, man, I have to keep switching all the way from like this to get to my dark oak and all the way over here to get back to the lime wool. But I forgot you could just go to the other side like that. All right, so next row is going to be the exact same thing one last time here. All right. So pretty much the last three rows are just the exact same thing. All right, so from here basically it's going to be you know what we did, and then the light, from the windows up it's just the exact same thing all the way through. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do four rows of the lime wool. So just go all the way to the other side and go all the way back four times. So this is two, then three, and then four. Okay, just like this, all right? So our next row is gonna be three lime wool. One, two, three. Again, we're working left to right here. Then it's gonna be three ice. One, two, three, or any window. Then one lime, then three ice, then one lime, then three ice, then three lime. One, two, three, just like that, okay? Our next row is gonna be the exact same thing. All right, this house is actually extremely easy to build. Once you get done with the front, it's actually even easier. All right, and then our next row is going to be the same, but a little different, all right? So what you're going to do is on the left side again, we're going to go in one. It's going to be two lime. Then it's going to be three ice. Then one lime. Then three ice. Then one lime. Three ice. Then two lime. One, two. So basically just went in one on both sides. All right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to continue to go in one with a lime wool on both sides all the way up. So I'm going in one, and I'm going to stop when I'm in one on this side. 
And that's basically where we're going to do all the way up until we end up like basically being a, like a point. So I'm just going to keep doing this all the way up. And then once it's like to where it's just one block in the center, that's when I stop like this. All right, so this is what you have right here. So now what I want you guys to do real quick is we're going to start by just like decorating the front to get out the way. And what you're going to do is get the dark oak slabs out. And below all the windows, you're going to go ahead and add like a little like window seal just like this. All right. And this is really what's going to make your house like a little bit more textured, I guess, or like give it more some more contrast and not look so plain. All right, so just like that. And then right here in the front, what you want to do is just do a row of stone bricks just like this in front of the door. And then go around it with the stone brick stairs just like this. All right. And then if you want to, you can also get like a button out real quick. You can do this later if you don't feel like doing it now and get this stuff out. Just get the button and just put this like right about here for the door handle. All right, so this is our front right here, and that's really simple, guys. We're going to add the roof, but we'll do that in, like, you know, after we do the sides in the back. So let's do the sides first. Okay, so what we're going to do is on the side, I'm on the left side, as you can see here. We're going to go all the way to the back, a total of 11 blocks with the lime wool. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I'm going to do that for another two rows, just like this. So 1, 2, so it should be 3 high, just like this. All right, then our next row is going to be 1 lime. Then it's going to be three ice or glass again, one, two, three. Then it's going to be two lime, one, two. Then it's going to be three ice or glass. And then two to finish it up, just like that. And you're going to do that exact same thing for the next two rows. It's a lot of repetition in this build, as you can tell. It's a very plain house. I mean, it's just, I don't know. I don't know why they designed it like that. It's just how it is. <laughs> so it's just pretty, you know, it's good for us, though, because it's really easy. All right. And that guy, um, Everything Awesome, he actually has built a lot of these houses on his world. He's like a tune world. It's pretty cool, I think. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get the lime wool, and we're going to go all the way up into the front. Basically, you see where this block is on our little, like, you know, in the front area we did? You're just going to go all the way up to there. So I'm just going to go just like this. I'm going to drink a Swiftness Potion. If you have that, you might want to drink that as well, just to move a little bit quicker. And you just take this all the way up until you get to the top point. And again, if I'm going too fast for you right now, you can just pause the video and do this, you know, on your own. But... I'm not going to skip ahead for this one. Normally I would, but I'm not going to. So just right here like this. When you get to that point, that's when you've gone, you know, too far, I guess. <laughs> or far enough, I guess. All right. So that's what we have right here. And then just go add our window, uh, window seals right down here on these windows as well. All right. So that's this side. Now let's do the other side. All right. So same thing. Go back. It's all of 11 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The next two rows, you're going to do this lime wool until it gets three high from the ground. Just like this. Then you're going to do one lime, three ice, one, two, three. Two lime, three ice, one, two, three. Then two lime. And then do that exact same thing for two more rows. All right, one more right here. All right, and then again, same thing. We're going to take this all the way up until it matches up with this over here. But yeah, that guy, uh, everything awesome. He has like a whole tune world. I know a lot of you guys have started building these tune worlds. I think it's really, really awesome. I don't even have that yet. Like, I mean, this technically is a tune world, but they're all just one big straight line of houses. What I want to build is like an actual, like, you know, like an actual neighborhood. And like maybe section it off by like, you know, like Nickelodeon cartoons, Cartoon Network, Disneyland, or Disney, I mean. And just kind of separate like that. I think it'll be really cool. But I'll work on that eventually. But right now I have way too much in my hand i have this whole crazy long street already all right so now what we're gonna do is do the back and the back is very simple i'll show you do that right now and all you really gotta do is just copy what's right in front of you so we're gonna connect each other you know the both sides basically by doing one straight row of lime wool in the bottom here and then all you gotta do is look straight ahead guys i'm not doing anything differently there's no notes i have i'm literally just looking straight ahead so this is what you're gonna do as well and i'm copying the front right over there I'm going to go ahead and do it with you guys, though, just in case anybody, you know, has any confusion and they need to, like, you know, have a visual aid. Um, I'm going to do it, but you literally, all I'm doing, I have no notes or anything. I'm just looking straight ahead at what I see in front of me. All right. And then I know for right here, it's going to be pretty much the same thing for the three rows. So I'm going to go a little bit quicker. But if you need any instruction, like, you know, block by block, I mean, really, you can just go back to the, you know, the uh, beginning of the video. Because, like I said, it's literally what's right over there. All right. All 
I wish that you could drink the swiftness potion without having those chemicals. Like, that's just my most... I hate that part about it. Like, I need it because it makes me move faster, obviously. And same thing with night vision. Like, when it's in dark areas, I wish they didn't have that chemical effect. I wish there was a way of turning that off. I know on PC you can do that, but on Xbox you can't. Alright, and then again, continue on. Just literally copying what I see right in front of me. Sometimes I don't know if this is something that I think that everybody can do. I mean, usually everybody's able to do this type of stuff. Whenever I do the tutorials, I do this type of thing. But I don't know if it's just like I've been building a Minecraft so long that I just have an eye for it that I can tell exactly, you know, if I'm in the block length. Um, or if I'm just giving myself too much credit. <laughs> and it's really just super easy. Alright, so then the next thing, again, we're just going to continue on here. Literally copying what's in front of us. I, and I keep saying that literally what's copying right in, uh, what's right in front of us, but sometimes I have to repeat it because some people are like, hey, you just, you know, blindly, made us blindly do what was in front of, you know, do it on our own, but in reality, the instructions are right in front of your face. <laughs> I'm not everybody, though. Most people get it. The more experienced builders get it easily. Some of the people that have, like, never built a house in Minecraft before, then I'm sure they may have a little bit more issue, but... Alright, anyway, so I'm gonna stop rambling. That was just me trying to have something to say while I was doing that. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is in the front, add our window, our back, I mean, add the window seals. You could call it the front, like I said, it's the same exact thing, so you could just flip that. You could just say, hey, you know what? I don't want my house to face that way now, I want it to face this way, so, and it would be the same result. Alright, so now we're gonna do the same thing we did over there, and we're gonna add our doorknob real quick, just like this. And we're gonna add our little staircase thing too. Alright, and then going around this. Boom, just like that. Alright, so now we have our sides, and we also have our back, and we're pretty much done with the actual main house. Now let's just go ahead and add the roof, and the roof I am going to skip ahead for because it is going to take a while. But what you're going to do is start at the bottom here, and you're just like Drake, going to start at the bottom. And you're going to start right here, and you're going to go all the way to the back, just like this. And all the way till you come off by one on every one of these. So you're just going to do this all the way to the other side. This is, you know, just, it's going to take a little time, so I'm not going to, you know, do the whole thing. Uh, well, I'm going to do it, but I mean, I'm going to skip ahead in the video, but... I'm going to do the first few so you can see what I'm doing here. Again, I'm just coming all the way off by one block. And then taking it all the way to the other side until I'm off one on this side. And that's all you're going to do all the way. And then when you get to the top one up here, this like you know, this top one right here, all you're going to do is use a slab. So on this top one, you're going to do a slab that goes off by one as well. But on the rest of them, it's just the stairs. So again, I'm going to skip ahead for this part. But go ahead and pause the video right now and finish this roof up. Okay, so there's our roof right here. So now we're actually done with the main house. We're going to start in the garage right now, but really quickly, I just want to give you guys the access to where your real door will be. I just realized, you know, there's not really an actual way to get in here. So let me just show you where you're going to put your real door right now. And that's going to be just right here. Just going to open this, just remove these blocks, and put a dark oak door. So that way it kind of blends in, you know, and it looks kind of clean like that. And for the flooring in here, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove all of this grass, just like this. And I'm going to replace it with oak planks. So if you want to do this right now, too, you can just go ahead and pause the video right now and remove all this dirt inside here. And replace it with oak planks all right okay so now I finished up mine right now right basically almost done I actually did mine one level higher that way it's like lined up with the door and if I wanted to I can also dig down and make like an attic you know what I mean uh, I think that would look nice and they actually do have an attic in the Cartman's house so you could just dig that down and make your own attic down there um, but I'm just gonna level leave mine with the uh, you know the flooring at the level of the door all right so now we are done with the main house let's go start working on the garage Okay, so for the garage, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the right side of the house, and you're going to go three blocks to the right, or four technically, so one, two, three, four. And right here, you're going to go up a total of seven lime wool, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then from here, go to the right, a total of ten blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then take that all the way down to the floor. All right. And then just like we did the roof, what we're going to do is we're going to start doing these like, you know, going in one on both sides, just like this, all the way till you get up to the top until it's one point at the middle, just like that. All right. And once you've done that, what we're going to do is get out your dark oak planks and we're going to go behind this hole like this. And we're just going to fill in the hole in a sense, but it's going to be one block behind. That way it gets like a 3D effect and look like a flat, you know, like, you know, 2D, um, you know, like garage. See what I'm saying? So it has like a little bit of definition to it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this back all the way until, you know, it's lined up with the actual house on both sides. 
and then just fill them in all the way until they get to the exact same height as this block up here as you can see like, you know right here so I'm gonna stick this all the way up so again I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead in this video but go ahead and fill in both sides just like this all the way until they get up to this point right here all right I'll just show you this last this first one all right so I'm gonna do this exact same thing over here on this side now all right so again go ahead and pause the video and do this all right, and then the back, what we're gonna do is actually gonna be closed off. So you could add a window back here if you want, but there's not an actual window in the real one. So, you know, you don't want to, if you know, I don't know, if you wanna keep it 100% accurate, then don't add a window. But if you just want it to actually, you know, if you're gonna actually maybe use this for storage and like a Minecraft survival world, then you might wanna add a window. That way you have some natural lighting in here. All right, and then once you get to the level right here, we're gonna start going, you know, basically you're pointing it up again, just like we did the front. All right, and this should look just like this. And now all we're gonna do is get our oak wood stairs, and we're gonna go ahead and you know do our whole roof the way we did the top one, or the actual house's roof. And the same thing as the house's roof, right here on the top, top, top one, you're gonna need to use a slab, and that's just gonna work a little bit better. So all you're gonna do again is just do the stairs, coming off one on both sides, and take it all the way to the other side till it comes off by one. And that's pretty much it. So again, I'm gonna skip ahead for this, but go ahead and pause the video right now and do this. Okay, so now for entering the garage, this is up to you. You can either put the door like right in this corner like this kind of and just like, you know, have it a little bit hidden like that. Um, or what you can do is you can receive slabs. <laughs> or you can do is just put it on the, right here is going to be some bushes, so you can't put it here. Um, but if you want to, you just put it in the back over here too. That also works. It really just depends on you, I think, to, yeah, there's no way to really center it with two doors. Um, so you just do one, but two doors would look better, honestly. So you can just do that though to get back here. Up to you. And we're also going to put our back door too, just like that. All right, so now what we're going to do is on the garage, on the inside of it, all I, all I did for mine was I just filled it in. Basically, I removed all this dirt right here. So I'm going to remove all of this dirt inside here. I'm going to replace it with stone. So again, if you want to do this, all you have to do is just remove all of this grass and replace it with stone. I know a lot of you guys just build these um, houses more of just like models. You don't actually live in them. They're more of just like for decoration on your world, you know, which they look awesome, definitely. So that's kind of what I do too, to be honest. I don't decorate all of them. I just kind of, you know, use them more for like, you know, just the models, like, you know, a model, like, you know, any kind of model, like a car model, you know, stuff like that. You can't, you know, gun model, you can't really use them, but they're just more of like, hey, this, you know, looks just like this. So, you know what I mean? That's kind of how it works. But if you're actually going to use it, you might want to put the flooring in, but if you're not going to use it, then this part you can just completely, you know, you know, just, I don't know, skip. So I was going to skip ahead for this, but I already didn't finish. So I'm just going to close this door and yeah, so that's it for this part. Now let's get started on add, actually adding like the actual walkway and the little bushes and stuff. So let me get the equipment out for that real quick. Okay, so first off for the walkway, or that's the driveway, what you're gonna do is just remove this first row right here, all this area within the garage door, it's a garage door area. And then remove this out as far as you really want to, honestly, it just depends on how far. Like, I'm just gonna line mine up with the one down there, um, but just bring it out as far as you want to. And then just go ahead and remove it all the dirt that's in this area. So I'm gonna remove, I'm just gonna make the line for it first. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace all this dirt with stone. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video, or skip ahead in the video, but go ahead and pause right now and just remove all this dirt and replace it with stone for the driveway. Okay, so then connecting the walkway to the driveway, you can either go for like a square pattern that's just kind of like this and just bring it in, you know? Or what you can do is take these three blocks here and then bring them out like, I don't know, like maybe four or five blocks. I don't have an actual, you know, pattern for this. I just kind of brought it out. And then just kind of like jaggedly you want to make it look kind of messy, so just kind of randomly replace, remove, and like replace blocks like this all the way until it gets to the point where it connects to the driveway. Alright, I think that looks good like that. It looks pretty good like that. You made me a little bit more, like maybe like this. Yeah, it looks good. But yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just, you're literally trying to make something look worn down like not worn down but like, kind of like a messy walkway so you can't really mess up messy you know what I mean it's just kind of like you know if you're to pour a cup of water on the floor not every time you pour it is it going to look exactly the same I always use that example because it's very true you just want to make it look like natural and like kind of like it just kind of happened you know like hey you know I wasn't even trying it just kind of came this way <laughs> so that's how it really works so that's it right there just want to connect it like that and then now all we have to do is add little bushes around the house and this little trash can so this trash can just put two polished out of sight right here on the right side of the garage. And then right in here, you want to just get your leaves and just make like any kind of like bush in here. Just like, you know, just right here. And then one that and have it end like right over here. And then just fill all this in. I'm going to make mine too high because it looks a little better, I think. 
And as for the snow, like if you want to add snow to it, you can. Um, I'm not going to in mine, but you could add snow and it would look even more realistic. But I just think that the snow is just a bit much, especially because this world is not made for snow. And then over here, you want to do another bush right on this left side of the house. And then over here, take it back and you want to add one like over here as well. And again, you want to make it kind of look like a natural bush. That looks good. All right, so that's actually it, guys. That's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple house. There's not really a lot to it. And again, like I said, if you wanted to add the snow, just kind of cover the whole thing with uh, like snow layers. But, you know, you don't really have to do that. I think it looks great just like this. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, get out of here. But if you do me a huge favor, hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, definitely subscribe. I build loads of crazy Minecraft houses every single week. I build tons of them. I actually realized we forgot something right here. My bad. We actually need to add the window seal. This has been a messy, messy video, to be honest. Sorry about this, guys. <laughs> the window seals. I'm sure you guys knew this at this point. All right. Just add that real quick. Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys do me a huge favor, hit that like button. As I said, that'd be awesome. Subscribe here if you're new. I build loads of crazy cartoon houses. We have, you know, Dexter's Laboratory, Rocco's Modern Life, Rick and Morty, Amazing World of Gumball, uh, Teenage Mutant or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Teen Titans, uh, Jimmy Neutron, Fairly Odd Parents. Pretty much name any cartoon. I've probably made their house at this point. So definitely go check out the playlist down below and subscribe if you're new here. Um, but that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.